Hello, my name is Danny Akotsky, and I'm a consultant in Mandiant's Strategic Program Services Group. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about hunting in TAP, FireEye's threat analytics platform, the premier hunting platform for finding evil in your environment. I'm going to discuss what exactly is hunting, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. One of the foremost thought leaders on hunting, David Bianco, defines hunting as the collective name for any manual or machine-assisted techniques used to detect security incidents. Really, hunting can be boiled down to a focus on understanding your attackers. You need to figure out what are they after, what do they need. They need to gain a foothold, download their tools, map the network, and maintain their access for as long as possible. Once you can figure out what the attackers are after, you're better able to hunt for them. Another benefit of hunting is being able to baseline your network traffic. I always say the more normal you see, the easier it is to see the abnormal. And at the end of the day, hunting really is just about the pursuit of the, huh, that's weird. That's how every successful hunt that I've ever been on has started. Something sticks out like a sore thumb, and that is where you begin the hunt. One of the best ways to illustrate what hunting is all about is to discuss David Bianco's Pyramid of Pain. It's an illustration in not only the difficulties you face as defenders, but to what extent, once you discover these IOCs in your environment, it'll frustrate your attacker. We begin at the bottom with hash values, IP addresses, and domains, all very dynamic indicators of compromise. They change frequently, and attackers can burn infrastructure at the drop of a dime. As we get higher towards the top of the pyramid, we start seeing things like host artifacts, network artifacts. They're pretty annoying for us to find, but once we do, they're equally as annoying to the attackers. As we get to the top of the pyramid, we get to where the real money is. Tools, tactics, techniques, and procedures. If you can discover these through your hunting endeavors, as difficult as that may be, it's going to be equally difficult for your attackers to change their tradecraft at the drop of a dime since you are now able to build detection around the attacks that they spent so much time crafting. So this brings us to the reasons why we hunt. Our adversaries understand how to avoid detection better than most companies know how to actually implement that detection. Not to mention hunting helps you understand your environment and that's critical for an effective response plan and hunting will also yield new detection methods. At the bottom of this slide, you can see the Mandiant kill chain, which illustrates the different phases of the attack. And this is where FireEye's threat analytics platform really shines. Now we get to the meat of the conversation, hunting with TAP. I'm gonna discuss a couple different hunting methodologies and then show you an example of an exploratory hunt. Let's get started. There are two main hunting methodologies within TAP, exploratory and goal-oriented. The simplest way to describe them is exploratory would be, if evil existed here, what would it look like? And to do that, you'd have to know what data you have coming in. You can search using grouping, pick a type to drill into, pick a field to stack on, eliminate known good, investigate your results, and from there, generate new detection, which is what this is really all about. On the other hand, we have goal-oriented. You have some reason to believe there might be some badness on your network. Whether it be evidence of C2, you know you've been spearfished, or you've seen or suspect lateral movement, this is also another methodology that plays really well in TAP. As somebody who's been hunting in TAP since basically the very beginning, it's almost impossible for me to make a video that's less than six hours long. There's just so much to discover and so much to be done with TAP in terms of hunting. For now, I'm gonna take you through a quick walkthrough of some of the ways that you can do an exploratory hunt in TAP. When it comes to any exploratory hunt, you want to begin at the beginning. You can't know what you're looking for until you know what you already have. So as you can see on this slide, we want to group by class. This is gonna show us all of the data sources that we have coming into the instance. And then pick your poison from there. I chose to go with class bro HTTP because that seems to be where I find a lot of indicators of some potentially shady stuff going on. After you pick your class, it's really dealer's choice 
about what field you're going to want to stack on. And that really comes down to experience and what you may have seen in the past or what you're curious about today. It really depends what the threat landscape currently looks like. One of my favorites that I like to stack on is user agent, as you can see in the search query in the top right hand corner of this screen. But I also want to see the user agents that are the least frequently seen in the instance. Directly below that, that middle line should seem familiar to a lot of you. That is the user agent string for the shell shock exploit. You find something like that, it's really off to the races. You can go through tap, scope the infection, the intrusion, and then hopefully from there, create some good automation techniques. After that, you sit back down and do it again. That is the exact spirit of hunting in TAP. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to FireEye's threat analytics platform as much as we've enjoyed making TAP into the premier hunting platform. On behalf of the FireEye family, thank you for listening and happy hunting. Thank you.